Lightspeed Spanish. Uh, this is one of our word blogs. Uh, this time we're focusing on verbs and a very, very interesting range of verbs becoming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sebastián. Sebastián está gritando. Vale, India. Hola, Gordon. Hola, ¿qué tal? Muy bien, estoy muy bien. ¿Sí? Muchas gracias. Sí, estoy Me alegro, bien. sí. Te veo muy moreno. ¿Moreno? Sí. ¿Sí? Tienes cara de salud, Gordon, hoy. <risa> sí, porque corro fuera. Corres. Y también eh, como muchas zanahorias. Y creo que tiene que ver. No, porque con zanahorias te vuelves más naranja. naranja. ¿no? Es como el, el, el moreno británico, ¿no? Sí. <risa> naranja. <risa> bueno, ¿y tú estás bien? Yo sí, yo estoy bien. ¿Y tú cómo estás? No te he preguntado yo a ti. Bien, muy bien, muy bien. Fenomenal, sí. Me alegro. Eh, tenemos aquí a tu hermana y, y a José, sí. el novio de tu hermana. Pero se van mañana ya, sí, sí, mañana se van, Sí, a Manchester, ¿no? A Manchester, sí. Uh -huh. Pero ha sido bonito tenerles aquí. Sí, y, y, y José, que es un chef, preparando... Ah, sí. Hoy ha preparado scones para desayunar. Sí, hemos tenido un, un desayuno, dice el, brit, el británico. Británico. Sí, scones, ¿sí? Scones, sí. Normalmente por la tarde tomamos eh, scones. ¿Tú qué dices? ¿Scones o scones? Yo digo scones. Scones, por el que tú eres del norte, ¿no? Sí, por supuesto. Vale. Vale. Ok, Cynthia. Sí. Uh, right. One of the things that used to confuse me massively, and still I still have doubts about it, is vale. when in English we have one verb, which is to become. Okay, and we use it massively. Uh, he's becoming this, uh, this became this, whatever. Yeah, now in Spanish, there are a number of verbs that do that job. Yeah, so uh -huh. hopefully today you can help us to put a little bit of clarity on, okay. on I'll do my best. How, how this, right? Okay, so principally, there are three verbs that, that are used to talk about becoming in Spanish yes, volverse, uh -huh. hacerse. Sí and convertirse en. Sí. Okay. So, let, can we focus on volverse? Okay. okay. Now this, if you were translating yeah. that, would be to become. Yeah? They all translate all to become. To become, yeah. yeah, but they all have slightly different jobs. Some yes. overlap, yeah? Yes. So, volverse, could you give us a couple of, of sentences that would use volverse? Volverse would be something like it turned into. Uh -huh. it, it, I know it's, it's to become, yeah. but it's like and um, it changed and turned into something. So if you're talking about a person changing personality. Exactly. So it's it's like a change, it's almost like an organic change, it's not a, a forced change, it's like no, no, something no, it's this natural progression. Well it could be forced but mm -hmm. it doesn't tend to be forced. Okay. Um, se, volvió, se volvió un estúpido. Okay. So, he became such an idiot. Uh -huh. It turned into an idiot. Turned but into became. Became, yeah. see. So that's what one a good tip if you this is volverse. If you can change the become into he turned into, okay, then that's a good one to use. Because you wouldn't, for example, if you said he became a teacher, you wouldn't say he turned into a teacher. You would say a different way, which we'll come to, yeah? So this is he turned into, yeah? Yes. And and if you know he turned into a nice person. Se volvió una buena persona. Well, and there's no preposition there, it's just se volvió una buena persona. Se volvió una buena persona. Okay. And because the verb volver is in it, some people think that he was like that before, then he changed and then he became, again. became that again. Because of volver can uh -huh. also, also means again or return, but uh -huh. it doesn't have to do with that. It's not. Volverse something is to turn into something. Okay. All right. So brilliant. So turned into. So. Although it's become, he became, if you can put that in, it turned into, volverse. Okay, what about hacerse? Hacerse is something that you do normally on purpose, like with jobs. We tend to use it with jobs. Um, me hice um, enfermera. Okay, so I became a nurse. Me hice profesora. Me hice... Okay. That's something you do on purpose. So, on purpose, so you, you have to work to become. So again, a tip would be if you can put in the word I I worked or he worked to become, then that would be hacerse. Yeah, there's a there's an effort in there. So again, if 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 I said the same sentence that I used before, mm -hmm. like a bad person or an idiot, 
If I if I chose a Therse, that would mean he worked into becoming an idiot. He did it on purpose. Yeah, of, like yeah. I am going to be an idiot. Say right. say hizo un idiota. That you know, that would be self work. Yeah. I'm okay. going to become an idiot. Okay. So no, so, that wouldn't. So this one work. a Therse is work to become. Yes. So use that purpose. as a as a, a measure. Can I say he worked to become? I made idiot? myself this. Mm -hmm. I made myself a teacher. I yeah. made myself, that's why we say hacerse, because you make it to yourself. Okay. I made myself this. Right, excellent. Se hizo okay. una estrella del cine, se hizo cantante. Okay, excellent. Okay. Um, and then we've got convertirse en. Convertirse en, okay. Mm. Convertirse en is like an evolution. Okay. okay. Mm. Um, maybe it's a little bit more poetic than the rest, mm -hmm. se convirtió en, and yeah, we use it like with something like has evolved from something to the other thing, like, um, um, what's a cocoon? Cocoon, yeah. Evolved into a butterfly. Okay, yeah. El, eh, o el capullo oh. se convirtió en una flor. Oh, oh, oh. El gusano se convirtió en una mariposa. Would you use a boy became a man? El, hombre, el niño se convirtió en un hombre. Ajá. Ok. O yo que no sé, se hizo un hombre. Mm -hmm. Depending on what you really mean. But... I'm going to come back to that because I've got a couple of on say. Yes, yeah, you I've can heard, say yeah. se convirtió en... Yeah, like, evolve. It is something that evolves. So it's a, it's a transformation and an evolution. So if you could, with this one, you could convertirse en. If you can put he transformed into, as well as using becoming, he became, he transformed into. That then probably convertirse in, yeah. Yes. So the, probably, the, the, yes. the cocoon transformed into a butterfly. Yes. Became a butterfly. The boy transformed into a man. Became a man. So that's so it's more if you can use that transform into, yeah. Then and you know. this verb convertirse and hacerse are in some sentences they could be interchangeable mm -hmm. because um, hacerse also requires an evolution. But hacerse is more like you do it on purpose. On purpose convertirse yeah. doesn't necessarily mean on purpose. It's just an evolution. But volverse is completely different. Volverse is to turn into something without, without wanting to, yeah. or not or with, not without wanting to, without, it's not on purpose. Yeah. It just turns out, something turned out that way okay. after something, okay. after a while. Excellent, that's, that, that's, I hope that helps. That puts it, right. A couple of questions on, on hacerse. Okay. I've heard um, hacerse amigos. Ah, hacerse amigos, uh -huh. to become friends. To become friends, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, because you work on it, don't you? Nos hicimos amigos. Mm -hmm. But you can also say nos convertimos en amigos. Okay. That's like in a, we, we were talking and that evolved into friendship. Yeah. So less, the more natural. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we, we transformed into friends more natural rather than actually... Yes. I'd say we became friends. Uh, uh, yes, exactly. But also in those sentences that you could swap, you could say hacerse o convertirse en, Maybe we would tend to say hacerse because convertirse sounds a bit more poetic. No, I'm, I'm not going to say poetic because poetic sounds a bit posh. But just a little bit, I don't know, I don't know how to really say... We would tend to go, we would tend to say hacerse because yeah, it's more common. That's what that I verb is more, more common than convertirse. And it's faster it's more to like say. a beautiful verb, convertirse. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it would be more poetic. It would be something you might read okay, in literature rather than just talk, somebody talking. Not just literature. That's why I didn't want to say poetic because mm -hmm. you can use it. Of course you can use it. Mm -hmm. But we would tend to, we would be inclined to use hacerse okay. in the times that you would use both. And there's a song uh, by Andy Lucas and uh, the La Niña se hizo mayor. Ajá, se hizo okay. mayor. So that's another way of using hacerse is actually to become older. Sí, hacerse uh -huh. mayor. Sí, hacerse mayor. Mm. Como, oh Sebastián, te haces mayor, eh? Yeah, you're becoming. By older. your attitude, you're becoming older. Or... Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, because normally, normally that the hacerse is has a, there's an effort involved, but on that one, se hizo mayor, it's kind of like a natural uh -huh. evolution, but it, that's what they use. They tend to use that one for for getting older. Yeah. Exactly. You couldn't say se convirtió en mayor in no. that particular sentence. Yeah. Okay. So just be careful because what we're doing is we're giving you general guidelines, but there are always things that fall outside of that. Things that you know yes. one particular country will favour, etc., etc. But just oh, yes, just a general course. way. So so let's just review. Okay. So we've got volverse is 
to and turned into to turn into it's not a plan so if you can change to become into turned into then volverse hacerse doesn't tend to be um not in no i'm not gonna say in 100 percent of cases no. this is this because for sure that'll be the example that somebody's used it in a way that i say volverse and there was an effort something like that sure. i say as a general rule, vol volverse is to turn into something that wasn't planned. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, so... Not 100% of the time, so just for sure there'll be one. And somebody would say, time. that is wrong, yeah. in this sentence you can say this. Okay. But nine, yes, let's say 90% so of 90 the time. So 90% of the time, so we'll say, turned into, volverse. Then yes. we've got, hacerse. Hacerse, you work on it, okay. usually. You become on purpose something. Yeah. Work to become. So see if you can try it translate the becoming into he worked to become, then you're gonna be hacerse. Yeah? Ninety percent of the time. Exactly. And also hacerse amigos, mm -hmm. hacerse mayor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then convertirse. Hacerse con doesn't mean that it's not the same. Hacerse con algo is not the same as hacerse algo. Right. Hacerse con algo is to get something, okay? Just okay. in case you see right. that. Okay, That's so something, else. something else. Put that to one side. Yeah. And then convertirse en is transformed Tran evolved, into. So again, evolution. if you can if you can say it transformed into, it became, then you're going to be Eso. convertirse en. So, there you are. Three different verbs, three different becomings. And maybe your Spanish is becoming much better the more videos exactly. that you watch. And what would that be? If your Spanish is becoming better? Then I would say mejorando. Mejorando. <laughs> Improving, we would say. Because <laughs> sometimes, you know, sometimes you say something in English and you use the one verb, but uh -huh. we wouldn't use that. We would just say improving your... But, I mean, I don't think... Or you could say, say it was se becoming se something... Mejor. Something It was becoming something special. It's se está haciendo especial. Se está haciendo especial. Okay. Se está convirtiendo Convirti en algo especial. En algo especial. especial. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. Muy bien, gracias. Cintia. Pues muchas gracias por tu ayuda. A ti, Gordon. Gracias. Sí. Y eh, bueno, eh, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós.